Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope that you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you again to my subscribers. Thank you to all of you that are supporting me, commenting, liking, and sharing my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. I am going to go ahead and put these earrings in my ear. As you look behind me, if you can see, then uh, you might be able to determine what necklace I am going to wear. But before I grab my necklace for today, I'm going to go ahead and take my hair out. I just have a bunch of big plaits in my hair. And the reason I do is because I'm waiting to receive some more hair socks. I really don't like to wear my bonnet much without a hair sock. And it's not like I don't have one. But last night I just wore my hair sock and I just wanted to plait it up so it would not be hanging out in the bag. Yeah, just trying to do something a little bit different. And I've already ordered my hair socks. And I'll tell you more about it when it gets here. Last night, I was working on my video showing you my retightening experience. And I started thinking about strength. And I remembered an interview that I just watched recently. Oprah was interviewing Cicely Tyson. And she was told that you're such a strong woman. And she asked the question, when did you know that you were strong? That's not something we think about often. When did you know you were strong? I thought about it. I came to the conclusion that even though I didn't know at this moment I was strong, as I reflect on my experiences, I realized that I should have known then that I was strong. It was about two weeks after my mother left us to go home to be with the Lord. I always told my family members that if mama leaves this world, don't call me, please come get me. Because I knew I was not I going to the world in 2009, April 28th, 2009. And about two weeks after she was gone, I was having a conversation with my sidekick, Joshua, my youngest son. And in that conversation, it came out that we were okay. We were doing great. Mama had left us and we were still doing well. As a matter of fact, about two weeks after Mama passed away, I had to preside at a Mother's Day program at our church. And people were calling me to find out if I was still going to do it. And I said, yes. I realized that the, the greatest thing that I could do was to live out my mother's legacy and not crumble the fact that she had passed away. I My brother assured us that she had prepared for that day. No, I'm not saying I didn't miss, I don't miss her. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it wasn't as devastating as I thought it was going to be. And that I could still live. I remembered the things that she taught me. I remember scriptures that tell me that I shouldn't mourn as the world mourns. I remember scripture that tells me be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I remember that the word says that 
when I am weak, it is he that makes me strong. And that's why I can say that I'm strong. And that's when, or let's just say that now that I reflect on the experiences in my life, I know that in 2009, I was a strong woman. That's when I'll say that I know I was strong. Yes, I'm going to choose my necklace for the day. And I don't have on my shoes yet. So I am going to have to adjust this a bit so you can see the necklace that I'm choosing for today. This necklace was sent to me by my sister from Washington State. My older sister, who's 10 years older than me. This is certainly not a necklace that I would have purchased for myself. Because I would think that the beads were too big. And I was not going to wear it. When I saw it, I thought, what is she thinking? But once I put it on, I realized she was thinking about me. And that she knew that it would be beautiful on me. Even if I didn't think so. So I thank her for this necklace. I had these pearls. And notice that they are drop pearls. For some time. I don't know where they came from. Right now. I can't think of it. This is the necklace and the earring. That I am featuring today. My Heidi Doss necklace. From my sister. This is a sister. Who loves her locks. I love my friends. I love my family. I love my sister Buran. I love my followers and my subscribers. I especially love God. Because he's been so good to me. He gave me strength when I needed it. I accept that strength. He lives inside of me. To deal with whatever challenges come in my life. Have a great day.